this cuteness wrapped up in one fuzzball. Anyway, I just had a really quick message for you guys because just two things that are on my mind um, that I've discovered this week. Okay, so remember how I had, well, I don't know, some of you probably don't remember this, but I had this weird leak all of a sudden that appeared out of nowhere for no freaking reason under my kitchen sink, and it was really strange, and there was like all this grass coming out of it too under my kitchen sink. So I had that and I got it fixed, but then, then I discovered that I had two sink drainers in my kitchen sink after they came and fixed it. Now this had nothing to do with the kitchen sink. So they could have given me an extra kitchen drain, but that would make no sense. And usually those guys who fix stuff are stingy, so they would remember to bring it back. And then the second thing, anyway, I'm going really fast, but look how cute. I'm just distracted by the cuteness. But I'm focusing on him because it sort of does have something to do with what I'm saying. Kitty, Oscar. So right near where you poop, right near where you poop in your litter box, I had a leak. This weekend, I started cleaning his litter box and there was all this water, like all this wetness around it, like almost a puddle of like an inch high. And I thought, oh my God, is my cat having a problem? But it didn't smell like pee. So I cleaned it up and I come to find out there's a link in one of the tubes under my toilet. So I put a bucket under it, just a small bucket. And I said, okay, so, you know, come Monday, I'm going to call the people who fix these things. And then Monday happened. I emptied the bucket. I put it back under. The bucket is not filled again. This leak disappeared. I no longer have a leak in my bathroom. So that's the weird story of leaks appearing and disappearing in my apartment, although the first leak was fixed, but it was just strange how it appeared, and I don't know what the grass was doing under my kitchen sink, so that was really weird. Um, so, but, so anyway, that leak left, and then, oh, he's going, ugh, party pooper. <laughs> anyway, still a weird story. All right, peace out. Okay, so I'm coming to you live, as it stands now, from my apartment. And as you can see, this is my tree with my Hollywood Bull Bulldog on it. And my girl snowman with plaid, my girl snowwoman <laughs> with a plaid skirt. Anyway, I kind of am digging this tree because it's got no ornaments on it. I kind of like this minimalist vibe. But regardless, I'll probably still trim it because it is a holiday tradition. In any case, I wanted to give you guys an update on my leak situation. So the leak that I referred to in the first part of the video disappeared. Uh, this was maybe like a few days ago that I made this video, so I'm making the continuation video. So the leak disappeared. I then saged my apartment. It then came back a little bit, but I put like a Starbucks coffee cup and the bucket under the toilet again w pertaining to where I saw the small droplets of water on the floor. But they were not getting filled. So somehow the water was either coming out of the floor or out coming out of the side of the bottom of the toilet. But it wasn't necessarily wet around the toilet, so <laughs> maybe water's coming up out of the floor. I don't know. And then uh, I waited a couple days and then the leak stopped altogether again. Now... <laughs> I don't know if leaks can spontaneously stop. I don't know if any of you guys are plumbers or have a plumber in the family. I suppose barring any embarrassment to <laughs> my bathroom and the, my toilet and whatever, um, I could show you, but nah, I don't want to show you. It'll look gross. And plus with my luck, since I don't have <clears throat> access to my YouTube editing tools, if I'm going to upload this tonight, then the still, <laughs> the thumbnail of this stupid video is going to be the bottom of my toilet <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the tube and, the, and my stupid old floor. And that'll just be really attractive and then nobody will watch the video. So anyway, best to have a good and sound and attractive picture as the thumbnail. But you guys get the gist. I mean, you guys who have been watching me for, you know, as long as I've been on the air or as a YouTube channel, 
you guys are great. You know, you take my word for it for the most part. I mean, and I totally understand if there are skeptics, you know, but I'm not, I'm not requiring anybody to believe this. This is just my story and it's weird. So suffice it to say things have been shifty. I don't know if leaks can appear and disappear, but other things have been shifty too, and not just leaks. Like a few weeks ago, I went over to a friend's house and I don't know if I've just been out of it. I mean, I've been feeling like kind of a lot of people have been sort of out of it lately. Just sort of incumbent on how shifty they are with me. Like, I was totally talking to this, to one of my friends at work last week. And he was all, you know, enthusiastic about, you know, this creative thing I'm doing and blah, blah, blah. And he wanted to know all about it. So this morning, I walked up to him and tell him. And he's like one of my longtime coworkers. So he usually is pretty consistent with me. And I was like, hey, what's going on? I just wanted to tell you what went on this weekend. And he was just really like, oh, yeah, okay. Now, granted, he was concentrating on something and he works really, really hard. So I suppose I should figure in for holiday stress and all that other jazz. But a couple other people like had done it to me too. Like the last time I saw them, they were so adorably sweet to me. And then they were like, oh, hey, and these weren't work situations. So I don't know, that kind of shiftiness kind of bugs because... I don't know. There's a part of me that like wants to appeal to my Jesus compassion and be like, well, maybe they're just having a bad day. And I do a lot of times. But then other times I'm like, really? Why? We were having such a good time last time. <laughs> Is whatever you're going through, like, did it affect you so much that we can't sort of pick up where we last left off? Anyway, but these are not your problems. So aside from people, okay, what else has been shifty? So a few weeks ago. And it's funny too, because like around the holidays and Christmas and stuff, I feel like this is when I notice the most weirdness or the most changes or the most shiftiness. Like last year at this time, I was making so many videos about all these new Mandela effects or possible Mandela effects I was finding. This year, it's just general shiftiness. So a few weeks ago, I went over to my friend's house and it was the first time I had ever been to this house. And I went to the bathroom and I closed the bathroom door and I could swear there was a lock on it. And then I turned the lock. Then when I went to exit the bathroom door, there was no lock on it. And I've been back to the house a couple times since and there's still no lock on it. So that was really weird. It may just be me as a force of habit. But again, when you're just making new friend and you don't want to be walked in on by any of his family members or his wife or his kid or anything like that, you kind of want to make sure the bathroom door is locked. So anyway. That's number one. Number two is this, smart water, right near my cat's butt. Okay, my cat's butt doesn't have anything to do with it. But anyway, this bottle of smart water, I went to work, and I know we're all probably guilty of doing this sometimes. I went to work today, and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling well today, so I'll just get some water at work because I don't feel like going to the store. So I took this bottle of water, to work specifically to fill up, just to get, you know, one liter of water. And I came home and the cat agrees. And the first thing I said to myself is, okay, I'm gonna take the water out of my backpack and pour it in the big jug that I have in my refrigerator. Thing is, this bottle should not still be full. And it is because I already did this once tonight. I already took a bottle of water that was this size out of my backpack, a full bottle of water, and poured it into the jug. So I am having no idea now why I have the second bottle of water here. The number three thing I'm freaked out about and maybe a little annoyed about and irked about is that these cold brews, my favorite cold brews ever sold in a grocery store with just the perfect amount of sweet and the perfect amount of coffee bitter. Like in other words, the coffee's not too bitter, the chocolate's too sweet. I don't know what it's been, but these last couple days, they've tasted way too thick. Like before they just tasted like they were made of whole milk, but now they taste like they're made, they got half and half or creamer in them and it's just gross. It's like kind of slimy when it slides down. So I don't know if it's just a bad batch that I got because I opened another one last night and that tasted more normal. So I don't know if it's just a bad batch that I got or... Just something shifty about that. The last thing I wanted to say, which was the weirdest thing, is that today I was on the phone at work and I was on this tedious call and I couldn't wait to get off the phone. So my off the phone time is 2 p.m. I looked down at the clock. It was 1.51 p.m. And I go, okay, great. I've got nine minutes left. Nine minutes. 
like almost literally two or three seconds later, it was seconds, not minutes. I looked back down at my clock, it was 156. My clock jumped from 151 to 156 in a few seconds. So anyway, guys, that's the shiftiness that's been going on. Let me know if you've had any holiday shiftiness of your own and peace out.